Hello, everyone. When we think of a success story, of perseverance and innovation, one name spontaneously comes to mind, Steve Jobs. More than just an entrepreneur, he embodies the very essence of the American dream. A man who started from nothing, with an unyielding vision and determination, who managed to turn an idea into one of the greatest technological revolutions of our time. Every iPhone, every MacBook, every Apple innovation carries a piece of this extraordinary man's legacy. But how did he do it? What are the secrets to his success? Join me on this modern odyssey to not only uncover the phenomenal rise of a self-made man but also to delve into the 15 invaluable lessons Steve Jobs left for all those who dream of greatness and wealth. In the bustling streets of San Francisco, in 1955, a new star was born, Steve Jobs. Though adopted early on by Paul and Clara Jobs, an inner fire already blazed within him, hinting at an extraordinary destiny. Raised in Mountain View, California, he grew under the budding shadow of what would become the renowned Silicon Valley. From a young age, he was inhabited by insatiable curiosity and a rebellious spirit, refusing to abide by conventions. And this was just the beginning of a life that would astonish the world. As Steve's adolescence blended with the vibrant hues of the 70s, his path led him to the doors of Reed College in Portland. Passionate yet faced with his family's financial reality, he made a bold choice to officially leave the institution after only six months. However, far from departing the campus, he lingered in its halls, driven by a thirst for knowledge. Living on a shoestring, he sneaked into classes like calligraphy, not for a degree, but for the sheer love of learning. It was during these trying times that a keen sense for aesthetics and design sprouted within him, passions that would, in the future, shape his unique worldview. Following his unorthodox classroom experiences in Portland, Steve swapped lectures for a completely different kind of education. India, with its mystical lands, beckoned him. On this journey seeking spiritual enlightenment, he traversed the vast subcontinent, allowing Eastern philosophy and Zen Buddhism to mold his soul. More than just an adventure, this inner quest honed his art of focus, foreshadowing the intensity and determination that would hallmark his entrepreneurial career. Steve's return to the US marked the onset of his professional career. In 1974, Atari, a pioneering video game company, welcomed him aboard. Though his stint was brief, it proved pivotal, enabling him to save money and forge crucial connections for his future. 1976 was the turning point. In the humble garage of his parents' home in Los Altos, alongside childhood friend Steve Wozniak, the first Apple computer came to life. The Apple I was more than just a device, it mirrored Steve's myriad experiences, lessons, and passions. Right there, in the confines of a garage, a technological revolution was brewing, spearheaded by a young, resolute man whose unconventional journey seemed to predestine him to change the way we perceive the world. Apple Inc., starting as a grassroots venture, skyrocketed. Within just a few years, it launched the Apple II, taking the market by storm and laying the foundation for the personal computer industry. It was around this time that Steve's vision crystallized, it wasn't just about selling computers, but about crafting products that blended art with technology, making people's lives both easier and more enchanting. Yet, as with any success story, Steve Jobs' journey wasn't without its hurdles. In 1985, after disagreements with Apple's board, Steve was ousted from the company he co-founded. For many, this could have marked the end. But not for Steve. With unwavering resolve, he established Next Computer. And although the company didn't achieve the anticipated commercial success, it set the groundwork for future technological strides. During this exile, Steve also took another audacious leap by investing in a small division of Lucasfilm, which later transformed into Pixar Animation Studios. Come 1995, Pixar's debut feature film Toy Story hit theaters, garnering resounding acclaim. Once again, Steve showcased his knack for recognizing and nurturing groundbreaking ideas. 1996 witnessed an ironic twist of fate. Apple acquired Next, heralding Steve Jobs' triumphant return to the company he co-founded. But this wasn't merely the homecoming of the prodigious lost son, it was Apple's reawakening. Steve was no longer the impetuous young entrepreneur but a seasoned leader, enriched by his past ventures. Having witnessed both the shadow and shine of success, he was now poised to steer Apple to unparalleled heights. His influence was palpable. 1998 saw the launch of the iMac. With its signature design and vivacious hues, it shattered the prevailing computer aesthetics and emerged as a beacon of Apple's resurgence. 
The iPod followed in 2001, revolutionizing the global music scene. Then, in 2007, the iPhone was unveiled, reimagining mobile phone paradigms and solidifying Apple's position as the vanguard of technological innovation. The iPad's 2010 debut further bolstered this reputation. These innovations, more than just products, embodied Steve's vision to meld technology with the liberal arts, to devise products that profoundly resonate with people's lives. The success of these products catapulted Apple to the status of one of the most valuable companies in the world. Its stock value skyrocketed, and with it, Steve Jobs' fortune. But more than money, what truly defines Steve's success is his enduring impact across entire industries. From music to film, telecommunication to computing, he reshaped and redefined our ways of living and communicating. But it wasn't just financial success that solidified Steve Jobs' place in the annals of history. It was his knack for anticipating consumer desires, crafting products they didn't even know they wanted, and wrapping them in irresistible design. Jobs didn't merely follow trends, he set them. Beyond impressive numbers and glowing reports, it's this ability to peer beyond the horizon, to envision and shape the future, that cements him as a true industry titan. Beyond the products and technologies, Steve Jobs leaves behind a legacy of innovation, determination, and foresight. His journey, from the streets of Mountain View to the pinnacle of the tech world, serves as an inspiration for generations. And while his passing in 2011 left a void, his spirit continues to resonate in every Apple product and in the hearts of all who dare to dream big. Reflecting on his trajectory, one might wonder, how did one man leave such a profound mark? How did he construct such an influential empire from scratch? To answer these questions, it's imperative to delve into the lessons Steve Jobs imparted over the years. Consequently, let's now explore the invaluable insights he bequeathed to all those aspiring for wealth and success in the entrepreneurial realm. Here are Steve Jobs' 15 tips for becoming rich. 1. Pursue your passion. Steve Jobs viewed passion as the essence of excellence. Dropping out of college, he followed courses out of pure love, such as calligraphy, which later influenced the Macintosh. This passion for innovation shone through every Apple product. Loving what you do fuels perseverance. 2. Stay hungry, stay foolish. Stemming from his Stanford address, this job's mantra encourages us to maintain an insatiable hunger for innovation. Even at his peak, he continually pushed boundaries. It's a call to always desire learning, dare to think differently, and shape the future. 3. Connect the dots. Steve Jobs had the knack for seeing subtle connections between seemingly unrelated experiences. Even amid uncertainty, he believed everything would eventually make sense. Amassing diverse experiences fueled his creativity, further solidifying the foundation for groundbreaking innovations. 4. Say no to focus on what matters. Jobs mastered the art of simplification. In a world drowning in choices, he knew when to say no to maintain focus. Many Apple products stayed behind the scenes, letting only the best shine. This focus clears away distractions, channeling energy towards what's vital. 5. Venture at the intersection of technology and humanities. For Steve, magic happens at the crossroads of humanities and technology. Beyond a high-tech product, it's crucial to touch the user emotionally. This blend of design, storytelling, and experience is Apple's unique signature, merging technical prowess with human impact. 6. Don't fear failure. Steve Jobs faced setbacks, notably his departure from Apple. Instead of getting disheartened, he saw opportunities, founding Next and buying Pixar. To him, every failure was a lesson, a stepping stone towards greatness, not an endpoint. 7. Create experiences, not just products. To Steve Jobs, every Apple product was more than just an item, it was an experience. Whether it's the feel of an iPhone, a Mac's user interface, or the iTunes ecosystem, everything was designed to immerse and delight the user. 8. Convey your ideas convincingly. Jobs' presentations were events in themselves. He didn't just showcase a product, he told a story, captivating audiences and making them dream. This ability to communicate compellingly was crucial to bringing his vision to life. 9. Aim for excellence, not perfection. Jobs consistently pushed the boundaries of what was possible, but he also knew when to compromise. Instead of chasing unattainable perfection, he aimed for excellence, a product or idea that could genuinely and sustainably impact the world. 10. Challenge the status quo. Steve Jobs never settled for the norm. 
he redefined markets with products like the iPhone and iPad, perpetually pushing boundaries. For him, every innovation was a chance to exceed expectations and revolutionize the industry. 11. Surround yourself with the best. Steve Jobs knew that one person alone couldn't achieve greatness. He had a knack for attracting and retaining top talent, building a team that could turn his vision into reality. Recognizing and surrounding oneself with unparalleled talent is vital in empire building. 12. Stay curious. Jobs had insatiable curiosity. This same curiosity led him to explore calligraphy, travel to India, and delve into various fields. In an ever-evolving world, staying curious is crucial to staying ahead. 13. Assert your authenticity. Steve Jobs' strength lay in his raw honesty and unwavering integrity. By being genuinely authentic, he garnered the unwavering trust of his team and partners. Display your true self to inspire trust and admiration. 14. Be patient and persevering. While Steve Jobs is celebrated for his accomplishments, he also spent significant time refining his ideas. The first iPhone iteration wasn't perfect, but with perseverance, it transformed into a revolutionary product. Patience is a virtue in innovation. 15. Trust your intuition. Despite critics, doubts, and skeptics, Steve Jobs often followed his gut. Be it launching the iPod in a CD player-dominated era or removing the floppy drive from Macs, he had a clear vision for the future. In business, sometimes you have to follow your instincts, even if they defy conventional wisdom. Thus, Steve Jobs, more than just an innovator, was a magician of our time, turning mere dreams into tangible realities. His principles, more than just rules, are bright stars guiding the path of creativity and success. By delving into his world, one learns not only to see the world differently but also to shape it. For those who dream big, the echo of Jobs' teachings resonates like a melody, inspiring and guiding the next generations of innovators.